Hey guys, what's up? Reese here. Got a new shoe review video for you. This is a brand new pickup from today. What we're looking at is the Nike Air Max 2013 LAF, which stands for a Lance Armstrong Foundation. So basically this is the Livestrong edition of the Air Max 2013. The official colorway listed on the box is Wolf Gray, Black, Cool Gray, and Varsity Maze. And you know, lately there's been a lot of negative news surrounding uh, Lance Armstrong with the whole doping thing. And a couple weeks ago, Nike came out saying that they terminated their contract with Lance Armstrong, but they will continue to support Livestrong and the Livestrong Foundation. Because, as I'm sure you know, uh, Livestrong works to support um, cancer patients and help help with cancer research and whatnot. And so actually on the box... You can read, um, since 2004, Nike has helped the Lance Armstrong Foundation raise over $80 million to fight cancer. Join us and support the 28 million people living with cancer today. So that's kind of cool. They actually have that printed three times on the box in English. And then on the bottom, they have it printed in what looks like French and Spanish, although I'm not very fluent in either of those languages, so could be wrong. Um, so let's take a look at the shoe. This is a mostly gray shoe with hits of black and yellow, which, you know, traditionally um, the colors associated with Livestrong shoes are most likely, uh, or most usually, I guess, black and yellow. So I kind of like it when they change it up a little bit and do, you know, something like a mostly gray upper instead of the mostly black upper, but still incorporate the black and yellow. I think that's cool. Um, this is my first experience with the Air Max 2013s. I, um, I seem to like the odd numbered years because I have the Air Max 2009s, I didn't like the Air Max 2010s, I have the Air Max 2011s, didn't like the Air Max 2012s, here I am with the 2013s. Um, this year was a pretty big design change for the uh, Air Max, the flagship uh, shoe, which is the uh, Air Max 2013, because they changed the airbag and outsole, which for the 09s through the 2012s, they all used an identical airbag outsole. Um, here, actually, I can show you. I've got the uh, Air Max 2011 right here. And so from the side, I'll do a close-up of this, but you can see there's just a few differences in the airbag. It doesn't look quite the same. But the big difference is under the hood. Um, as you can see, it's just the traction pattern is different. On this one, it's just kind of, you know, all one complete unit. And here, um, it's broken up in a few places, which that's um, for flexibility. Because although the uh, 2013 is a little bit lighter than like the 2011s and the 2012s, the big uh, marketing point for this that you see on all their ads is that it's flexible. And so here I can show that quick. And that's because of these cuts or the breaks in the outsole. Um, you can bend it like that easily and it goes further. I'm just not gonna get it all, you know, kind of not creased up really, but not all smushed up. Wall, if you look at the uh, Air Max 2011, I'm pushing harder than I was before and it just doesn't really want to bend. Um, so this is more flexible, helps your foot move a little more naturally. So yeah, I mean, that's that's a shoe. We'll get a close-up view here and we can go over all the specific uh, design aspects of the 2013. But overall, I'm very impressed. It's a very comfortable shoe. I, haven't wore, I just kind of wore it for a few minutes, but it's extremely comfortable. And it looks great. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so here we have, again, the Air Max 2013 LAF Livestrong Edition. As you can see, it's got a yellow outsole. It says Max. And then it's got the, uh, well, that's kind of goofy. Max is written in this direction. And right here it says Waffle Skin. But then the uh, Nike Plus symbol is upside down compared to those that's kind of interesting um but so yeah it's mostly yellow under here it's kind of interesting too let's see if you can let me zoom in a little it's hard to see but the this up right here has like a green speckle in it i don't know if we can focus in on that i don't know if i want to show that huh okay well it's not going to focus in on that but there is a green speckle and it's only right there Looks kind of cool, but I don't know why they only put it there. Um, so it's a gray 
air unit, airbag. Looks kind of black from some angles, but it, then it looks gray when you're actually looking through it. Um, like I said, mostly gray upper with the black swoosh. It's got yellow dynamic flywire with black speckles. Oh, come on. This camera does not like to focus. Okay, you can't really see them, but take my word for it. They're actually pretty prominent when you're actually looking at it. It's got black laces with the yellow tip. A little darker gray Nike swoosh right there. There we go. Uh, the tongue is black with a Livestrong badge up there. The other side's pretty much the same, except it doesn't have the big black swoosh. It just has a silver swoosh. And that's not like printed on there, that's just kind of in part of the design, a little recessed part of this reinforced side over here. Um, black mesh lining with uh, Livestrong in there on the uh, insert with its uh, black and yellow pattern, striped pattern. On the back it says Air Max across. Looks kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I mean that's the shoe. We can, I can show you a close-up view here now of the... Let me get the other shoe actually. So that's what the outsole of the 2013 looks like. And this is the outsole of the 2011, which is like I said was the same for the 2009s, 2010s, 2011s, and 2012s. So you can see the big difference. And even from the side, there's a pretty good difference. Although it's not nearly as prominent because, you know, it's still an airbag. There's not as many grooves, like back here, there's a groove right here, while it's pretty much flat down here in the back. And there was also a more pronounced on these in the back, it kind of, on the outside of the shoe, it kind of came up a little, while back here, it just, it does it a tiny bit, but not much at all. So that's the shoe. Like I said, it looks really good. Um, it's really comfortable. You really can't go wrong. A lot of the colorways for the uh, 2013 are really nice. I like this one because it's just, most of them you know, are pretty much one solid color with just a few hits. But this, you know, has a couple shades of gray along with the black and yellow. So it kind of adds some diversity. Um, so yeah, it's a great shoe. Uh, very technical shoe. You know, I don't like the fact that, you know, it's pretty technical. Um, it's got, you know, all the Air Max and whatnot and the new, the dynamic flywire and all that. Don't like the Nike raise the price again. These are up to 180 and then there's the special edition ones which are supposed to be extremely reflective that are 200 but it's a great shoe. It's a comfortable shoe. Pick it up. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.